have a lot of fucking Onage videos to do. I believe I promised out about three in the last video series. So that's a lot of Onage. But, uh, the people that I promised the videos to haven't responded with anything they'd like to see me eviscerate yet. And I'm hungry for Onage now. So I figured, why not have a little bit of an Onage appetizer before we start the real Onage feast. Fiki Snooker lamented in the last video of the series that she didn't win because she would really like to see me tear this motherfucker apart. And while Fiki Snooker, you didn't win, you madam are win. You're seriously unsubscribed, link in the description, go subscribe to her, and uh, enjoy the ownage. Alright, this is a video response to Freaky Snooker's... First of all, it's Freaky Snucker, not Freaky Snucker. Second of all, and I know this is a little hypocritical coming from this guy. Get a fucking haircut. Oh, God. That was painful for me to say. You have no idea. But even then, I would have said it. Seriously. Your face looks like it was gang raped by a horse, a pseudo futuristic 80s movie, and a blender. What the fuck, man? I've had you on my video response list for a few days now because once I, uh, after I saw your fucking video, oh my god, I was so pissed off. As I was watching it, too. Uh, let me explain something to you. Maybe this is just me, maybe I'm not speaking for the majority here, but. I tend to get pissed off while things are occurring that piss me off. It, it, it generally doesn't happen that someone says something that pisses me off and then four months down the road I'm like, FUCK! That guy's an asshole! No, I, I, it generally happens as I'm watching a video or listening to an asshole or whatever. I mean... Is your brain blocked by celery or something? And, uh, thought, my, why not make a, uh, fucking video response to get the fucking point to her? Yes, I'm sure she was cowering in fear of seeing a horse-faced emo vomit forth a bunch of non-points. I mean, if it was just the non-points alone, that, that's scary. But the horse-faced emo part? Oh, God, that, that's just terrifying. I'm fairly certain that's why we invaded Iraq. War crimes like that. Saddam had a bunch of horse-faced emos in his basement that he unleashed upon people that he didn't like. That's what happened to most of the Kurds, actually. Alright, let's get started. Well, you're kind of behind me, sweetheart. I'm already three minutes into this shit. Okay, number one. I'm a carnivore. That's what you said at the beginning. Um, first of all... You choose to be a carnivore, you choose to fucking murder animals. Murder is defined as the unlawful and or immoral killing of another being. You actually have to explain why killing something is murder. You can't just assert it. That's begging the question. I don't begrudge Fiki Snucker her right to a hamburger any more than I begrudge a hawk's right to a mouse. Animals eat other animals. We're no different. Because, uh, you're just a fucking pussy and you can't give up the taste because it's so good. Hey, Emo Charlie, here's a crazy thought for you. Maybe she doesn't want to. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe there's a whole bunch of meat eaters out there that don't give a fuck. Maybe we enjoy a nice big slab of meat whenever the fuck we feel like. Crazy, I, I know. It's just like you suspected. Nobody understands you. Stop cutting yourself. Stop. Stop cutting yourself. And, um, you commit to murder every single fucking day. Care to back that up? And, uh, that's not my fault, because I don't end up murdering uh, any animals any day of the week. Quick question. What do you think happened to the creatures that used to live on the soy fields that you get your food from? Or for that matter, the creatures that used to live on your house? Now in your house. What, what are you going to do if you get a rat infestation? Ask them to leave nicely? Just asking. Vegans, vegetarians, only eat veggies. Bullshit. You eat feces too? Isn't that an animal product? 
You're so fucking stupid, oh my god. Hey, we're not the ones eating cow feces. And we're certainly not the ones who made a video response without bothering to read their description. Sure, that's some of what we eat, but anything that doesn't have any fucking animal product, we'll eat it. Like plastic wrappers, broken glass, and cow feces. It is too fucking stupid and too fucking ignorant to figure that out. Once again, coming from the guy that can't read the description in a video. And can't seem to figure out that cows actually need to get milk. If they don't, it's extremely painful for them. Oh my god. I just left that in there to show you the piss poor editing quality of this video. I'm actually making him look far more interesting and intelligent than he is in reality. If you don't believe me, link in the description, check out the original video. You have that one tone in your voice too that makes it sound like you're better than everyone else. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. Cause uh, you're just a fucking pussy. You're so fucking stupid, oh my god. And uh, that's not my fault because... I don't end up murdering uh, any animals any day of the week. You commit to murder every single fucking day. Yeah, you got quite the egalitarian tone there, Horseface. You are the fucking lowest scum I have ever seen in a fucking video. Including this guy? Had to do it. You're pathetic. What are you, making a video about this? Floss after your bale of hay if you're going to make a video. Next point, preaching? Who preaches about being veggie or fucking vegan? Who preaches about that? We keep it to ourselves. We just don't... We choose not to murder animals like you do. Is that a big deal? No. Oh, really? Have you ever heard of this guy? When everyone is eventually forced to become a vegetarian, how many jobs do you think are going to be lost? You have a bunch of individuals who make a living slitting the throats of animals. I'm sure most of us are going to be absolutely heartbroken when they can no longer murder our favorite Disney characters. Actually, in Horseface's defense, he might never have heard of this guy. In fact, let's prove him innocent right now. Let's have a look at his subscription list. What's that? Without even going through your subscription list, three of the six accounts that immediately pop up are all Onision? Horseface, not only do I think this makes you aware of this guy, I think it makes you a bit of a fanboy. And you're going to sit there and tell me that vegetarians don't preach. Now I should say, I really have nothing against Onision. He's a bit of a dick and he does preach. But he doesn't pull this, I don't preach bullshit on anyone. He's at least honest in that regard. Do we act like we're better than you? No. Do you act like we're better? Do you act like you're better than us? Fuck yes you do. You commit to murder every single fucking day. 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 And uh, that's part of what pissed me off. Fucking stupid. You let your phone ring in the middle of a video that you posted to YouTube. It's called cuts. Cut that shit out. You're an emo. You should have experience with cuts. In the future, state, you said that we still have to, or you stop to meet. Um, you're fucking stupid. You can find other things to replace the protein that you need. Um, but I suggest you go on a fucking diet, because uh, you're not losing any weight here. Alright, well, you know, let's let's have a look at her. She does have a bit of a body shot in the video, so let's, let's have a look. And, uh, my t-shirt. Yeah, oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! I I'm, I'm gonna have to side with Horseface there. I mean, just look at you! I mean, when you have sex with your husband, is he, is he at any risk of severe lacerations or being impaled on your femur? I mean, oh! You don't even look like you're a refugee from anywhere! You, you, you look like you've... You look like you might survive the next week. What did you have, like a sandwich last month or something? Oh! Oh! Jesus! Oh! Do you even fear a light breeze at all? God damn, what a fucking porker! I mean, 
We all know what a, the standard of beauty is according to Horseface Emo Charlie, don't we? You should, you should do everything in your power right now. Get on the all toilet bowl diet so you can look like this. I mean, it can't possibly be that this guy's dick is too small to get past the labia majora. It has to be that you and everyone who looks like you just has way too much meat on their bones. And you know how vegans feel about meat. Cheers.